Shout out to Schoolboy yes. Q. What's up, Shout Playboy? I've heard so much about you. Ah, thank you. I Record is so rocking and rolling. Yeah. Or you even got up here. Good job for my dude, June. <laughs> okay, so by the way, just to let you know, because, you know, you're kind of just, like, I'm going to be honest, you're a little bit new to us. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay. And I know that you've been around for a while and, like, you've been releasing, you know, mixtapes, album, whatever. But I was like, like, you released your album back in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's funny because, and I, I was actually talking to Craig about this earlier, um, your album, its habits and contradictions have been out for a couple months but we just kind of started playing hands on the wheel so it's like what what's the deal with that um it's actually a mixtape so oh there yeah. i thought it was like more described as an album it's yeah, not it's a it's an independent album if you want to put it like that you know because right now i'm about to do the major debut album okay so i, I like to call it a mixtape you know and it just happened to kind of like I'm not trying to say it like this, but it kind of like blew up. And you said it like it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. You can say it. You know what I mean? It's fun. And the record now, and they picked the record from my mixtape and went to run with the, to the radio with it and before I set up my next first single. You know what I mean? Because it's like he just started playing it, well, a couple weeks ago. Right, or whatever. right, right. And then it was like, so I'm looking because I knew he was coming through. So I'm like, you know, I've been looking for you, researching, whatever. And, and I'm like, this guy's got his album out already. Right, so yeah, like, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> no, it's all good. And you're from good. the West Coast, so when you come out here, you must be like, yo, you freaking morons. Like, nah, nah, this, <laughs> I put in work. Nah, this is my second time actually out here, but this is my first time out here actually on my own music stuff. Like, you know, I was out here with Kendrick last time, and it was more for him. I was just doing hype man stuff, you know what I mean? But now it's actually me and my turn, so. You and, Ken, and you and Kendrick Lamar um, have been friends for quite a while and working together for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my brother. So you, I mean, you're part of this whole crew. It's called Black Hippies. Yeah. Explain to me what that is. Um, it's, it's a group put together by me, Kendrick, Absol, and J-Rock. And we both the hardest dudes from our region. And why not come together and make a group? We already signed to the same label, so... We might as well do it. Is know? there a certain amount of competition between you and Kendrick? Uh, yeah, yeah. We go at it all the time. If you look at the interviews that we've been talking about, that's all I've been on the interviews right now about yeah. our competition. Like, I got to stay in competition with him because if he get too far ahead of me, I get too comfortable. You know what I mean? It'd be all bad. Long as he, if he make a great album, I'm going to have no choice but to make a great album. You know what I mean? So, yeah, because the recipe like got, you know, put, put in rotation here. So yeah. it's kind of like, was he like, call you up like, ha ha. Uh, I'm, yeah, it, I'm in Connecticut. I'm rocking yeah, the yeah, CT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes he hit me up like, yo, I just made $30,000. Where you at? You know what I mean? And then you're like, 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 yeah, but you're going to be at Toe's Place tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at Toe's Place tonight with Big Crit in the episode tonight. I'm on my tour right now, the Groovy Tour, stopping by Connecticut. I'm hitting Vermont tomorrow, so it should be cool. Okay, so I, I just want to clear something up with you. Well, first of all, I just want to, you know, just to say, he was one of the candidates for the freshman. Right, right, okay? right. Okay? Um, are you upset you didn't make it? Nah, I mean, I'm on tour. Tell me one of them dudes that's on tour right now, probably besides Machine Gun Kelly or something, like, Okay. I mean, I got a. I'm on billboards. Like they talking to me about a freshman list. I done accomplished something that not one of them dudes have accomplished yet. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud to say that. I'm not dissing none of them because okay. I like a few of them on, that was on the list. Like I like a few of them. I'm not tripping on that. I think, I think that's actually good for me. It was a better look for me because like I, I have a daughter. Like I can't be up there holding, holding the bat. Like you know <laughs> what I mean? Like I'm like I'm not. I'm not. I'm a grown man, yo. You've also been named one of the 25 most important people in hip-hop under 25. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Dope. So how does that make you feel? Um, I just found out, so... <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's cool. Congratulations. School boy Q, uh, tell us how you're feeling right now. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> I, like, I, like the, I like the Billboard Billboard one. They gave me uh, top top five buzzworthy new artists. And that's so? Me, ASAP, 2 Chains, and Kendrick Lamar was in there. It was oh. like a rock group. And that's hot. Yeah, I, I like that one. All right, so I, I read about you that, first of all, were you born in Germany? Really? Yeah, I was okay. born in Germany. Vietnam. And your father was in the military? Yeah, mom and father. And I got to ask you this because this fascinated me. It said that when your mom and your dad split up, your mom renamed you. That uh, gave you yeah. a different last name? No, nah, my mom, from from the jump, I never had my dad's last name. I like My mom, during the pregnancy, my mom and dad like split up, you know what I mean? So she never gave me... I have nothing to do with his name, like my dad's last name. Oh, so do you have your mom's last name? Nah, her dad's name is Washington. So, like, she I gave. Have my own, my do you understand what I'm saying, Craig? This is the most fascinating thing. Like, she gave him some last name of right. nobody in the whole family. Right. Yeah. I so, didn't even like, know you could do that. 
I didn't know either. Like, I mean, started it from, happens. I don't know. No, I don't know no other Anley. I never met another person last name that was Anley. That's crazy, right? Yeah. I didn't even know you could do that. Um, so I, you know, I've been watching some of your videos and things, and you're pretty violent. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'm not like that anymore. I'm usually talking about past situations, but right now I'm I'm, I'm a real chill dude. <laughs> But back in the days, yeah, I was a little crazy, a little, little thirsty. You're actually, are you still like a gang member? Nah, I mean, I'm from where I'm from, you know, I'm always be from where I'm from. I mean, it's inked in my blood, in my skin, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I got a goal to reach and I got a family to take care of. And I got an opportunity that most people that never get, like it's people that have been rapping for 19, 17, 12 years and never get the shot that I'm getting right now. So I can't, I got to take advantage of it and, and can't play with myself daughter's life like that you know what I mean yeah I saw pictures of your daughter she's cute yeah yeah that's my baby how old is she three she just turned three on the 24th oh that's nice yeah yeah so are you still with her mom or uh I don't really be talking about that I gotta oh. keep the girls on me a little bit oh excuse me. <laughs> school's, school's me so if we want to like so for people that are just discovering you if they don't have your album where can you get it um iTunes that's okay. about it. Or if you want to keep your G, you don't want to buy it, download it. I ain't tripping. <laughs> I, like it. I mean, like I said, the debut, the debut coming out, you know, this, this mixtape was something that actually took off for us, for me, and I'm, 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 I'm grateful for it, and I appreciate everything, but at the same time, go out there and do what you want to do. So what's going to go on with your album? Um, a lot of jams, a lot of fun, and a lot of stories about Q. So. Okay. I don't want to be too much and say something and then it don't turn out the way because it's real fresh of me working on it. So right now, I'm just going to say fun and cute. Okay. Yeah. Are you almost done with your album? Or? Um, I'm about 40%. Almost at the halfway mark. I'm finishing up the single right now, the last single. So. I'm That's assuming Kendrick's going to be on it. Oh, uh, yeah, Kendrick gonna be on it for sure. And you work with ASAP Rocky a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's my other brother right there, too. You know? So they'll both be on the album? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Anybody you reached out to that you haven't worked with before? Um, nah. Um, just 50 Cent. You know, that's you know that's somebody I really look up to. But that's my homie now, too. So. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, that's my homie. So are y'all doing business together? or what's I the... mean, you know, we talk, it ain't like no business or nothing like that. Like, we good friends. We in the same branch, so you know what I mean? It's... It's only right, and he had, he had like the biggest influence on me. So really, how? Yeah. Business music, wise, music wise, music business wise, you can hear what Fifty saying and and understand what he's saying. Like he's not the best lyricist. Like he didn't have Jay Z bars or Biggie bars, but he sold so many records because when you heard what he was talking about, it sounded like all right for real. You understood what he was. You know what I'm saying? Like. He was for real with everything he said. It I seems really like your music that. is the same way. Like, you yeah. really tell the story like there's no phoniness going yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, it's, it's nothing, nothing. I mean, I may exaggerate like any other rapper, but for the most part, yeah, it's, everything is true. Well, we're looking forward to hearing more from you. Oh, I'm looking forward to hearing more from y'all, too. I'm yeah. to see what's up, man. What's up, what's up? Let's be in the record, man. What's up? All right, we're going to put it on right <laughs> now. Yep, Hands yep. on the wheels. And uh, Toad's Place tonight, Schoolboy yeah. Q, is going to be out there in New Haven, and me and... Craig G is going to be at Room 960 in Hartford. Yeah. DJ Playtime's birthday is going down. Yes, downtown Hartford, 960 Main Street. Shout out to DJ Playtime. Everybody, come on through. Rock out 21+. plus. If you're in New Haven, go check out my man right there, Schoolboy Q. Yeah. Big Crit, all that. There's you know, a lot of things going on tonight. We're really uh, we're honored to meet you. I'm honored to meet you. Just remember, just remember the little people. We're the little people right now. Uh, no, no, no. Just remember no. that. Nah, you the, you the big homie. You uh, ain't the uh, little big homie. Honest that June always bring it, they always say the same thing. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not like that, man. I'm cool as heck, bro. All right, Schoolboy Q, and if, like I said, please download his uh, his mixtape. I thought, you know, I, it's dope. All right, it's Thank at 937. Uh, Kid Fresh is up next.